American Lung Association hosted its annual Fight for Air Climb. It's 85 flights of stairs spread out across four different downtown buildings. Now, if that's not challenging enough for you, some teams did it all in full firefighting gear. So we got to take an inside look at the tiring competition. <laughs> The Fight for Air Climb here in Des Moines is actually the fifth largest Fight for Air Climb in the country, which I think is a big testament to Des Moines and how people come out and support the causes in our community. So we have over 1,300 climbers registered, um, over 180 teams registered to climb with us today. We have some climbers who have done it every single year since we started um, 16 years ago. No, it doesn't get any easier. It's still a lot of flights and a lot of stairs and you know as much as you try to prepare your um, for the the climb it still is kind of struggle at times. We have people as young as five, as old as um, in their late 70s climbing with us. Um, climbers are scheduled in waves, they are climbing every five minutes throughout the morning. So I want to be able to do it for those folks that can't and um, hopefully raise enough money so that we can take care of this. It really does test your lungs and so we're kind of giving people a picture of what it might be to live when you have to think about where your air is coming from. So it puts people in the shoes of those who have lung disease, COPD, lung cancer, asthma. I just want to take one step at a time and, and finish. And of course, the goal of today's event was to raise $350,000. And these events take place all over the country, but this was the only one scheduled for the weekend.